Friends, happy fifth Sunday of Easter to you all. And once again, thank you for following our video reflections, uh, especially during this season of Easter. And thank you for allowing us to be your guide and to, to walk with you in, in your journey uh, closer to Christ. And today, this fifth Sunday, we have fascinating readings that continue to nourish us. Uh, you know, in the Old Testament, there is this beautiful motif that I like, or theme, if you will. Uh, I, this is really my favorite, one of my favorite themes, where there is a God who, who acts like a father, who is looking for the lo for his lost children. Of course, these were talking about the people of Israel, who, who in their sins and in their rebellions, uh, God did not give up on them. God was looking for them, even if they were in exile. God was wooing them and inviting them back to return to me, return to me. You know, we have that beautiful image in the book of Isaiah where God said, even if a mother who just gave birth to her child and may forget that child. And God said, mm, that's not me. I love my children and I am not giving up on my children, my kids, my children. Somehow, this beautiful theme reverberates in the New Testament, especially in the teachings of Jesus Christ. So this theme of a God, a faithful God, is always recalled. It, it, it always uh, reminisced in the, in the gospel. So, for example, after, after Easter, we have the, the readings that we heard. There were themes and images that consistent to this image of, the faith, of a faithful God. The second Sunday, we remember we had a theme of the divine mercy, which reminded us that there is a God who never gives up on us, a God who loves us, whose mercy never fades. Even in the midst of our sinfulness, if we may have sinned and again and again, but this mercy of God never runs out never runs out, always is available for those who are truly contrite and those who are repentant of their sins. There is a God who loves us and embraces us like the father of the prodigal son. There is also an image of cornerstone, the cornerstone which remind, beautifully portrays the role of Jesus in our lives, that if Jesus is at the center of our lives, if Jesus is the cornerstone in our lives, then this trickles down into our relationships in life. It, this trickles down into our decision makings in life. But if Jesus is not the center of our life, can you imagine where that would bring us? It brings us to confusion, to darkness, to sadness, to isolation. For that reason, the church invites us to once again make Jesus the cornerstone in our lives. And of course, there was that image of the Good Shepherd we just heard last Sunday. This image is one of my favorite images because, you know, this, this Good Shepherd is not just a hired man, not just an employee, but a shepherd who is not only willing to risk uh, for, for, you know, for his sheep, but he is willing to offer himself for his sheep. Isn't that a very powerful reflection or consistent to the theme of a God who never gives up on her children? The shepherd will never give up on, on his sheep. The sheep, of course, is us. Despite sometimes, sometimes in our stubbornness, in our sinfulness, uh, the Lord, the shepherd, will not give up on us, will continue to embrace us. How could we forget that image of Jesus holding that that uh, sheep that got lost, you know, wounded, that sheep was wounded, and Jesus carried that sheep because that sheep is you and me. And today, this Sunday, fifth Sunday, we have another beautiful simile, simile where Jesus compares himself to a vine and you are the branches, vine and the branches. I think this image couldn't be more, couldn't more uh, express intimately God's relationship with us. Now, be a vine and a branches. God is, not, is, is trying to say that God is not just a separate entity from us. No, we are linked in a very, very tight bond because God is our Father, Jesus, 
Jesus our God, we are so close, meaning that if this bond is disconnected, this if we are unlinked from this bond, we are on our own. We are isolated. But no, Jesus said, you are my branches. I am connected with you. I am supplying you. I am providing you with all the nourishment that you need for you to be able to have a good and healthy journey in your life. Away from me. Cut off from me. Where would you look for nourishment? Away from me, where would you look for, for, the, uh, for the, uh, the things that you need to survive? Such a beautiful image of connection that we have. This really tells us that God, you know, never ceases to connect with us, never ceases to invite us back. Please return to me. Without him, we can do nothing, definitely. You know, I always like this image of us receiving the body of Christ at the Eucharist. You know, sometimes we many sometimes when we are in front of the tabernacle in the church, the tabernacle in which we put the unconsumed body of Christ, and in front of the tabernacle, we Catholics we adore it and we we genuflect in front of it. And you know, during communion, what happened is that when we receive the body of Christ in our tongue and allow the body of Christ to melt and mix into our system so that the body of Christ becomes part of the circulate, circulated in our body. Can you imagine? We are not just the tabernacle in the church where the unconsumed body of Christ is placed. You and I, we receive Christ and Christ is circulated in our system that you and I, we have become a walking, walking tabernacles. Isn't that beautiful? We have become walking tabernacles of Christ. That's how intimately connected uh, we are with Jesus. Christ is not just outside of us, but inside us. You know, every time, every Sunday, when you see somebody who just came back from the Eucharist, who just received the body of Christ, the least we can do to, the per to this person is, we, you know, we kneel down this person uh, just like we do with the tabernacle. What I mean to say is respect the dignity of this person. Respect this person who is a, a sister and brother to all of us. Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. I know there are times that we may feel that God may, may sound silent or distant. Is he outside of me? Is he far from me? You know, the, the vine and the branches tells us that God is never, never away from us. God is always there with us, even in our midst of affliction, even in the midst of our pains and suffering, even in front of a person who is suffering cancer, perhaps, or lying in bed. Right there, we believe that Jesus, for those who believe, this is very important for those who believed and have Jesus as the cornerstone in their lives. We believe that Jesus is so intimately bound with this person, bound with us in our joys and sorrows, sorrows that there is not a moment in our life where Christ is away from us. What is, what is the challenge for us, uh, rather, is for us to continue to hone our hearts and our minds for us to be conscious of God's presence in our lives. Because we live in a world, a very noisy world. There's so many distractions that can drive us away from the presence of God. But if we only, if we are only aware of the presence of God constantly in our lives, then we will know. We will know that Christ is so intimately bound with us. You know, last, uh, the other day, last Sunday, Pope Francis said that in this world nowadays, where, where many people are feeling disconnected in the relationship with Christ, what we need is a moment of meditation. You know, this is not something that is unfamiliar to us. Meditation, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or two minutes, just to sit down and recollect yourself and quiet your soul. And there at that moment, recall God 
at the presence of God in your life, what God has done in your life. And this moment will help you because during this moment of quiet, the Holy Spirit will work in your life so that you, you and I will once again be conscious, be conscious of God's presence in our life. So dear friends, as we continue in this Easter celebration, one thing that the Lord continued to kind of uh, bombard us, to remember, to remind us that I am always with you. I am I'm always taking care of you. I have, I have never been away from you. I'm always there with you. As a matter of fact, I'm so tightly bound with you that I am a vine and you are the branch. So do not forget God's faithfulness, intimacy in our lives. So with that, dear friends, I give you my blessing and, and continue to walk with you and continue to pray for you and pray for me as well and for our ministry. Thank you so much.